subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. One of the ways that the ketogenic diet was developed was as a means to curb the growth of tumors and cancerous tumors in our body. These tumors feed on sugar. Previous research has suggested that low calorie and ketogenic diets help prevent conducive conditions for tumor growth or the spread of tumors by lowering blood glucose levels and insulin levels in the body. Researchers at the Koch Institute for Integrative Cancer Research at MIT compared the tumor growth in two groups of mice in an experiment. One group of mice were fed a low calorie or calorie restricted diet while the other group was fed the ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet is no sugar diet and is ultra high in fats. The researchers discovered that the mice that were fed the calorie restricted diet showed slow pancreatic tumor growth but the mice on the keto diet did not show any inhibition in the growth of their tumors. The scientists conclude that it is not only sugar restriction as previously thought but also the balance of the kinds of fats that are being consumed which affect the growth of tumors. While low calorie diets deprave the body of sugars, High fat makes up for metabolic processes that are depraved by sugar, say the team. The findings were published this week in the journal Nature. It has been seen that some highly cognitive animals like dolphins and dogs have the ability to use their willpower and their patience to delay gratification by waiting in the face of temptation for a reward that they like better, which they know will come along in the near future. Scientists at the Max Planck Institute for Ornithology tested four different species of parrots, 28 individuals in total, for their ability to display patience by resisting food that is put in front of them. The parrots were given a food that they did not prefer and did not like so much, which was sunflower seeds, and then they were given food that was walnuts, which they loved. They were first given the sunflower seeds and if they waited and not ate them immediately, they were then fed the walnuts. Both foods were visible to the birds through a transparent screen. The researchers found that the African grey parrots were able to wait for nearly 30 seconds for the walnuts, while the other birds like the great green macaws waited just for 20 seconds, the blue-headed macaws waited just about 12 seconds and blue-throated macaws waited for about a mere 8 seconds. One African grey parrot called Sensei was in fact able to wait for up to 50 seconds and was the best performer of them all. This research was published this week in the journal Animal Cognition. Fossil evidence has revealed that giant worms used to lurk underneath the sea floor in what is today modern day Taiwan, hiding to capture fish nearly 20 to 25 million years ago. These worms left trace fossils of burrows that were over 6 feet long and 1 inch in width. Modern versions of these kind of worms are called sand strikers and they are just a few inches to maybe a few feet in length. However, these prehistoric fossils reveal that the creatures that lived back then, which were those days versions of sand strikers, were in fact much larger, quicker and more dangerous. The imprint of the fossilized tunnel indicates violent events, say the researchers, where a worm darts out of the burrow with a lot of strength and a lot of energy, likely ambushing its prey, then slowly crawling out. The fossils were discovered first and attributed to a new prehistoric species only in 2017. The findings are published this week in the journal Scientific Reports. A reanalysis of fossilized footprints from Australia, which were first discovered 50 years ago, has revealed that the creature that they belonged to was actually a timid herbivore and not a terrifying predator as previously thought. When these footprints were discovered, the tracks were thought to have been made by a biped or a two-legged predator nearly 200 million years ago. They were even thought to be the earliest evidence of a carnivorous dinosaur. Now, scientists have reanalyzed a cast that was made of these prints and they used advanced 3D imaging techniques. They discovered that what was previously thought to be claw marks were in fact just drag marks from claws. 
A previously thought part of the bone of the dinosaur's foot was in fact a part of a nearby rock. The researcher discovered that in fact the dinosaur had had a short stature and a narrow foot and was herbivorous. The findings are published this week in the journal Historical Biology.